Welcome back to the SIC Football Media Day and Luncheon, and I'm Doug Stewart. And before we talk to head coach Woody of the Benedict Tigers, I want to make sure that you know that check out the SIC at SIC.com, as well as the hashtag SIC on your social networks. And uh, at the SIAC uh, is where you can find us all over the web. Coach uh, Woody, how you doing? Doing great, doing very well. Guys, tough season last year, four and six. Um, Benedict's one of those programs where, you know, a newer program in the, in the conference, but uh, I'm being from South Carolina, know that Benedict has a lot of great tradition. What have the fans and the alumni said to you and talked to you about that tradition and trying to take Benedict to the next level? Well, I heard a lot about the Benedict tradition and what you know, what's happening right now. These fans want to win the football program. So uh, that's what we're trying to do, get these guys a, 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 great, a great kid that can come in here and get a great solid education, play some football, and understand what it's going to take to be a winner. You guys were four and six last year, as I mentioned. Um, what are some of your strengths that you're looking into coming into the year? Well, right now, you know, as I said, we're a very, very great young football team. But the bonding to what we're trying to get done, uh, I can see us getting better and better. Last year, as I just said, we ended up four and six. I thought easily we could have been seven and three. But we just got to learn how to finish. Learn how to finish. And most importantly, we've got a lot of guys coming back on both sides of the football. And uh, defensively will be our strength. And hopefully, offensively, we can just maintain. Uh, some drives and uh, let the defense put it in the to make plays. Who are some of your leaders that you're looking forward to, to having a big season on that defensive side of the ball? Well, right now, Rodney Hall, our defensive back, I'm expecting him to come in here and make a big, big impact. Uh, a lot of times last year, people threw away from him, so we're kind of moving around different areas where we match him up with the best receivers for our opponents, so we expect a lot of great things out of him. How about offensively, Coach? Well, offensively, right now, then, we got a young offensive line that's coming back. They're gelling. Uh, they built a lot of, lot of continuity. Uh, I'm expecting them to be able to run the football this year. You know, we threw the ball around last year, but in order to win championships, you got to be able to run the football game. So that's some of the things that we've done this past spring, emphasize the run game, and uh, hopefully we will see a change. And, and since you've been at Benedict, uh, how, how important uh, has the off-season conditioning uh, training, how, how important has that been to your program and trying to take a program that hadn't been that successful to that next level as I talked about? Well, what we have done, and guys probably thought I was kind of crazy, but uh, right after the season, the second day back uh, uh, from the Christmas holidays, we started our strength and conditioning program at 4.30 in the morning. So uh, from the strength and conditioning, as far as running, as far as lifting, and getting these guys to just buy in on what we, get, you know, what we try to get accomplished. So, uh, they handled it, and uh, we've gotten st uh, faster, we've gotten stronger, so uh, hopefully we'll see a better football team. Uh, speaking of a good-looking football team, fantastic facility, uh, the new stadium there. Uh, how's it playing in that thing? It's, I mean, it's right in the middle of, of Columbia, and uh, a real nice facility. Does that amp your players up and get them ready to play games and know that they, they're going to be on a big stage in that nice new stadium? It's fun playing in Charlie Johnson Stadium, and the most important thing, once you start winning, you'll pack that thing. So. Uh, we had good support last year. Our fan base is real well as far as home and away. And our guys are real, real excited to play, uh, to play at home. So it seemed like we played our best football at home. But uh, hopefully we can play better on the road as well and uh, win some more for the game games as well. You guys start the season off uh, against a MEAC, uh, you know, giant in the South Carolina State Bulldogs. Uh, that, as I mentioned, I'm from South Carolina and I know from talking to the older generation, that used to be a huge rivalry. How, how amped up do you guys get to play that first game of the year against, you know, a big school and coming from the MAC in South Carolina State? You know, our kids are real, real excited about the Palmetto City Classic. Uh, playing South Carolina State, a great football team. Buddy Pugh's going to have those guys ready. Uh, well, well sound football team, great defense. They got speed, they got size, you know. Hey, they're a Division One program. But I thought that we played them very well, extremely well in the first half, you know, with some turnovers that we didn't capitalize on early in the game. And then uh, as a third and fourth quarter, you see the depth that kicked in. But we're excited about the opportunity to play them again, so we'll see what happens. The, uh, you know, um, uh, most of your players, a lot of your players are from the state of South Carolina. Do they kind of look forward to playing against guys they played high school ball with, guys that they grew up with? I know that's an added incentive, right? Absolutely. You know, those guys work out during the summer with some seven on seven all throughout the state of South Carolina and they all went to high school together as well. So it's, it's real, real excited to see what's about to happen and uh, our kids are really looking forward to it. You've been all through college football. We mentioned a little bit earlier, you actually coached at Tuskegee. Uh, you played at Central State, a new team to the conference. Um, talk, talk a little bit about where, based on your experience, you see your program at right now. Well, 
we're peaking right now. I'm happy where we're at right now. I'll be doing the things that we need to do. No, but I'll be progressing. Yes, so I'm real, real happy where we are right now with some of the programs that I've been around as far as building in the first stage. Right now, we're in the second stage right now. We feel real, real good about this football team. Um, a very, very young, energetic team. But the most important thing is to make sure these kids understand it, uh, how to win. And uh, like I tell those guys all the time, you don't have to be the most talented guy in the world to work hard. You, know, you don't have to have the greatest talent to work hard. Just work hard at what you do in the classroom, on the football field, and great things happen. James Woody, the head coach of the Benedict Tigers, you are watching the SIC Football Media Day and Luncheon uh, on the SIAC Digital Network. Uh, make sure that you stay tuned. Other great coaches, other coaches from the conference coming up. Thanks, Coach Woody. Thank you.